Um, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Group 5, I would like to share our green city, IOTA. And our motto today is show its worth, save the earth. So here's our team, and we are from Spain, India, and Hong Kong. So let me introduce the criteria of our green city. We have set six criteria for our green city. First is to utilize renewable energy. Second is to abide by principles of sustainable development. Third is to advocate recycling projects. Fourth, to protect water purity. Fifth, to preserve nature and biodiversity. And finally, to control noise levels. So let's go to the first criteria about renewable energy, which includes wind, hydraulic, and solar energy. So now, let's take a look at our designs in uh, the software, City Skylines, and also Sim Cities. As you can see here, we have constructed an array of wind turbines in the rural area of our city. And also we have some hydraulic power generators being installed in the canals and also rivers. Down below, you can see the solar panels we have uh, constructed in the rural areas as these areas can receive the largest amount of sunlight uh, from sun. And here we'll also install some uh, solar panels on the roof of some outdoor car parks so as to increase the efficiency. So what are the environmental benefits of using renewable energies? Well, first of all, they're clean as they do not produce atmospheric emissions. Second, they can reduce the CO2 emission as they can approximately reduce 10 to 11 million tons of carbon dioxide in the future. Third, they're domestic sources of energy and so their supply is abundant and inexhaustible. Finally, they're sustainable as they can be generated repeatedly. So now, let's take a look at the social benefits. First, it helps improve people's life, especially for solar panel installations. As long as there's sunshine, solar energy can be deployed anywhere. This is especially useful for remote regions with no access to any other sources of electricity. Independent solar systems hope to be deployed in these remote regions and improve the lives of millions of people. And here are some successful examples currently. There are also some economic benefits, which includes enabling industry growth. The implementation of wind power has an annual economic impact of about 36.1 billion euro on its economy. And it also helps excite rural areas economy as wind power pays landowners 245 million US dollars in these payments every year. Thirdly, it helps create more job opportunities. According to Wind Vision Report, wind power has the potential to support more than 716,000 jobs by 2030. And according to the National Solar Job Census, in 2019, jobs in the United States solar industry increased nearly 17 times faster than the overall economy. So let's go to the next criteria about sustainable development. What means by sustainable development? Well, there are four main concepts in sustainable development, including social cohesion, economic development, environmental conservation, and also intergenerational equity. And we have to strive for balance between these four domains. However, let's take a look at this high polluting sector, which is the animal agriculture sector. It does not abide by the sustainable development uh, principles as it only focuses on the economic development. So let's take a look at how catastrophic it is to our environment. First of all, it consumes a large amount of water. As you can see from the diagram on the left, uh, the industry of hydraulic fractioning for natural gas uses 100 billion gallons of water per year in the US. This is already a very staggering figure. However, the animal agriculture industry uses 34 trillion gallons of water per year in the US, and it also accounts for 55% of water cons consumption in the United States. You may ask, what are the major consumptions of water in the industry? Well, first, it might be the water footprint of growing crops. Second, it will be feeding and cleaning the livestock. Now, take a look at this visualization. By consuming a hamburger sold in the McDonald's, you're actually using 660 gallons of water, which is equivalent to 1,500 hours of non-stop showering. This is how immensely terrible uh, the sector uses a large amount of water. 
Another serious environmental problem is that it produces lots of greenhouse gases. Take a look at the diagram on the left. All transportation globally produces 6.5 billion tons of greenhouse gases per year. This is already very shocking. However, for this sector, animal agriculture, it can produces 25.5 billion tons of greenhouse gases per year globally, and it is responsible for 91% of the loss of rainforest in Amazon, which releases a lot of carbon dioxide back to the atmosphere. And what are the major emissions of greenhouse gases in this industry? Well, first would be the transportation of crops, and second one would be livestock's flatus and belch. So, I would like to introduce our group's inspirations, which is to implement a sustainable agriculture sector, which strives to balance between economic development and also environmental conservation. And our group has chosen to adopt the crop livestock integration model and utilize the methane gas produced. So let's take a look at this demonstration video. As you can see here, water can be recycled within the system. For example, water used for cleaning livestock's body can be used to irrigate the crops, and the crops planted can then be used to feed the livestock so as to reduce the carbon and water footprints due to crops. Also, there's a glass sealed area for livestock activities, so gases emitted by livestock can be collected. There will also be a ventilation system connected to an external gas processing system. So let's take a look at the gas processing system. And here's the system. First of all, there will be a demethanizer, which helps extract the methane gas from the collected gas. Then there will be a steam methane reformer, which extracts the hydrogen gas from methane. And the hydrogen gas extracted can be used in the production of hydrogen oxygen fuel cells, which can be used to power electric vehicles. And most importantly, these fuel cells does not produce carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases as it only produce water and steam. So it is 100% clean for uh, use in vehicles. Let's go to the next criteria about recycling. And here are designs in SimCity. In SimCity, we have recycling factories built as close to the urban areas as possible so as to reduce the possible CO2 emissions due to transportation. So what are the environmental benefits? Well, first of all, it helps conserve precious natural resources. Currently, there are 4,000 known minerals and only a few hundred is common. The remaining are rare. So recycling is required for the conservation of these resources. Without mechanisms of recycling, humans can run out of resources one day. Secondly, it helps reduce carbon emissions. As in the United States, it has successfully reduced the country's carbon emissions by a net 49 million metric tons. And in the United Kingdom, it has successfully reduced CO2 emissions by 10 to 15 million tons every year. There are also some economic benefits, which includes creating job opportunities. According to the US Recycling Economics Information Study, there are over 50,000 recycling establishments that have created over a million jobs in the US. Another economic benefit is that it helps save the cost of waste disposal. For example, in New York, recycling helps save $20 billion per year. And a study conducted by the Technical University of Denmark also points out that in 83% of the cases, recycling is the most efficient method. The fourth criteria is seed protection. Currently, there are a few major problems, including the first one, marine time transport. The European Commission estimates that emissions of car air pollutants from ships cause 50,000 premature deaths annually and 60,000 million euros in health costs in the European Union. Another problem would be the plastic prices. Take a look at the pie chart on the left. Sources of plastic in the sea, 80% of them are from land. And currently, at least 267 aqua species have been entangled in plastic or have ingested plastic. And 50 to 80% of turtles found, are found dead due to ingesting plastic products. Also, chemical factories and heavy industry. It is estimated that 100,000 new chemical substances have been produced and disseminated to the environment, which is toxic to living things. As to humans, there are three major health risks. First of all, it will shorten our lifespan. Second, it will cause health diseases. And finally, it may lead to verbal inability. The fifth criteria is about nature and biodiversity preservation. 
So what does biodiversity, you may ask? Well, biodiversity includes the number of different organisms and their relative frequencies in an ecosystem. The biodiversity of a nation depends on the vast wilderness of living species. It also tells how enriched the nation is. The more diverse the nation's ecology is, the better the nation is. However, our world's biodiversity is shrinking because of the environmental degradation we have caused, including intensified pollution, illegal wildlife trace and poaching, climate change, and also habitat fragmentation and deforestation. All these have led to the result that a lot of species have become critically endangered, including the hawksbill turtle, Amur leopard, and also the black rhino. So let's go to the final criteria about noise level. What is the noise level? Well, in atmospheric sounding and noise pollution, ambient noise level is the background sound pressure level at a given location. And why is it so important to a green city? Because first, it helps in giving a silent and peaceful society for the people who reside. And second, high noise levels can have a harmful effect on humans, as well as animals, such as cardiovascular effects and coronary artery diseases. So what can we do for the aforementioned problems? Here, I'll introduce our solutions and aspirations in our city planning of IOTA. As you can see here, we have designs of greening in city planning. We have green roofing design for skyscrapers. We also have planting of trees and also expansion of green areas and expansion of greenery near main roads so that we can use them as natural noise barriers and can absorb a lot of carbon dioxide produced by vehicles. So what are the environmental benefits? Well, first of all, greenery reduces the ambient temperature. Also, it increases biodiversity and purifies the air. For the social benefits, it increases the feeling of well-being, offers healing environments, and acts as natural noise barriers, as I've just mentioned. So here, let's take a look at the overview of our city planning. As you can see here, there are wide distances between buildings so that we can ensure that every building can receive an adequate amount of natural sunlight in the morning so that they don't need to spend a lot of electricity on their lighting system, which actually helps decrease the CO2 emission caused by generation of electricity. The next feature is about expanding the economic aspect in some rural areas. If the government wants to develop these areas, we will recommend it to lower the heights of the building in these rural areas so as to prevent the occurrence of the war effect, which traps a lot of it within the community. This also, of course, ensures that every building can receive sunlight from the sun. There are also the third consideration. When we're talking about, we want to build a new economic center or some urban areas in some, or revitalize the rural areas into urban areas, we'll also try to preserve rivers in the city because there are two significance. First is that it helps lower the ambient temperature. And second, algae living in rivers can actually help absorb a lot of carbon dioxide from the environment. And that's all for the aerial view of our city, Iota. Again, our motto is show it where save the earth. So in conclusion, protecting our nature is important to every one of us because nature plays a key role to maintain the biodiversity of the world. And preserving nature is the key step to withhold the biodiversity of the world. It is true that our power is very limited, but as long as we humans group together and strive for a change, a better and cleaner world would just be around the corner. Well, our city's name, IOTA, actually means a very small amount. Indeed, every one of us only have a small amount of power to change the whole world. But as the old saying goes, many a little makes a mickle. With unity, we can build a better community. Thank you. <laughs>